Hello guys, now to Ace here, and I want to give my thoughts on Ubisoft's latest Assassin's Creed called Shadow. So of course, before that, it was called Code Red, basically part of the Basim trilogy to some extent, because if you don't know what the story is, after Van Hala, of course, Basim sort of took over as a story character for the next trilogy, that's my guess. And now they revealed the first of this trilogy, and it's called Assassin's Creed Shadow, which is finally Japan. A lot of people want it, so they finally did it. And of course, unfortunately, I guess, by the time of this release, there's a lot of controversy coming in. I'm going to give my thoughts on that one as well. But first, is, what are my thoughts on what they showed? Well, for me personally, I think it's awesome. Kind of excited to see. So basically, there will be, once again, two protagonists. The last time they did this was... Assassin's Creed Syndicate, which is Jacob and Evie Fryer. If you know that story, basically they're assassins. Late 1890 to early 1900. I could be wrong, but that timeline, basically Sherlock Holmes, Jack the Ripper, you know that story there. But anyway, so once again, you'll be a duo protagonist. Interesting enough that there is no choice for the assassin character because if you play Odyssey or Van Hala, you get to choose whether a male or a female. Of course, spoiler in Odyssey, Cassandra is sort of the main character. Alexo is sort of, but whatever, it is what it is. Avar, well, it's up to you, use your imagination. But once again, this time, the assassin character is gonna be a female Japanese. So, I mean, set in Japan, but of course, there is a bit of controversy, which is the other character you're gonna play is Yasuke. So, of course, some people say, oh, he's the first black samurai. Well, if you know your history, he's not really a samurai. He's a retainer for Nobunaga because Nobunaga himself was intrigued of this guy because he looks different. Yes, he is the first African that went to Japan during the Senkaku era. That's all I know, and there's more about it. Of course, he is a real historical character. Heck, he's seen Samurai Warrior 5, which is a reboot, but it is what it is. So the protagonist is Naoi, a female ninja assassin, Akunichi. So she could be part of the Assassin Creed, but again, you just have to wait and see once the game out. Maybe they'll tell the backstory of what it is, but right now they're just showing the characters. And of course, like I said, Yasuke. So the controversy is, why do I have to place Yasuke? Why is the female assassin... Why not a male one? Why her? What's the significant women power? A lot of this political issue once again. For me personally, for this particular game, I don't see it. Because I even post showing Yasuke from Summer Warrior 5. And I just say, you know, in my honest opinion, I don't see any problem. But again, potato, potato, your opinion, your choice. If you don't agree with it, vote with your wallet. Don't buy the game. But for me, if it comes to a sale, I am planning to buy this game. It looks good. I've been playing Assassin's Creed since the very first one without the year. So... I do like the story. I do enjoy playing them, well, most of them. Some of them hit or miss, but it is what it is. This one, hopefully, it's good because from what I understand, the people behind it are the one who did Odyssey, and that was a good Assassin's Creed game. I put a lot of hours to that one. I know it's weird, but it is what it is. So, again, first of all, Yasuke, why him? I don't know. Because he's black? Maybe. Again, my suggestion personally is wait and see what the story is why you are playing as Yasuke as a part of the the brute style or the attack style kind of like when you're playing you know Bayek, Cassandra or to some extent but Avar you know just you're an assassin but like the way you fight just you push the button to attack kind of ridiculous like I said I'd rather like have the OG one like Assassin's Creed the original one so that's my guess, but again, why Yasuke? Just have to wait and see. Case with Nawe. Hopefully she plays like an actual assassin with counters and flow combo. Just saying, just like, again, the original Assassin's Creed. Because ever since they changed the game's mechanic, it's kind of like, yeah, I don't like it. But hit or miss. I know in the case with Basim, they're kind of trying to go back, but it's not there yet in my opinion. Anyway, speaking with Nawe, that's her name. Is she related to Kanosugi and Nawe? Who knows? That'll be interesting if it is, but again, just have to wait and see. Wait for Ubisoft to tell their story. What's the premise for this particular Assassin's Creed story? Is it a controversy? My opinion, not so much. 
because again, yeah, you have a Japanese character. Yeah, it's a female. Why he not a male? I don't know. Like I said, there's Evie. There's even the one from the Assassin's Creed 3 spinoff. And then there was one Assassin's Creed Chronicle China. You play as a female assassin. Okay, I mean, what's wrong with them? How come now wait, there is not a proof? But again, maybe because oh, it's a female, right? We have a male. Again, I'm not going to touch that. Maybe there is a story behind it. Same goes with Yasuke. I don't know why. Maybe he's an intriguing character. Maybe some people will like it. I don't know. I said it before and I said it again. Whether you like it or not, I know it sucks. It's the creator's creation. So if there is no censorship, there is no regulation, they wanted it. Maybe someone told it. Maybe Sweet Baby. I don't know. Again, I'm not going to touch that. Maybe, yeah, maybe it's compromised. But if they're the one that said, oh, we want now to be female because I think it looks interesting. We want Yasuke because he's unique. Whatever the reason is. Can't really, like, trying to say that's BS to some extent. I know you can, but I'm trying to say is, it's their creation. It sucked. And the end of the day is, vote with your wallet. Don't buy the game. Just saying that. For me personally, I don't really see a big controversy. Yeah, it sucks sometimes, but it is what it is. That sometimes happens. But, again, we'll just have to win and see. So, the key thing for me personally is, I want to know what the premise of this one. What is the story with the assassin in the Templar during the Sengoku era? So who is Nawe? Is she going to be another assassin? Kuinichi, I know Nichi is our assassin, but you know what I mean. Is she going to be part of the Assassin's Creed? And what's the deal with Yasuke? Why is he like a focal point for this timeline? Will it be Nobunaga there? I wouldn't be surprised. Mitsuhi Dekechi. That'll be interesting. Yukimura Sanada. Again, like I said, it takes place in the Sengoku era. I'll be interested. We just have to wait and see. So that's my thoughts on Assassin's Creed Shadow. So for me, personally, I don't really see sort of a problem. But like I said, if you're not comfortable, you don't like how this game's approach, vote with your wallet, let your voice be heard, and just don't buy the game. But hey, you never know. Maybe there'll be DLC. I mean, there's already DLC in the game. Yeah, pre-order DLC. I know it's bullshit, but Ubisoft... It's kind of like some other company. Probably they're not making a lot of money. They're doing whatever it takes. Sour Outlaw, I know. Kind of bullshit. Skew they're showing. But again, vote with your wallet. Maybe there will be a DLC. And it'll be another assassin. And maybe this time it's a male one. I don't know. Just have to wait and see. Anyway, with that, I'll see you guys later.